So I have the Hercules 12 inch dual bevel compound sliding miter saw for two years now and I finally feel confident enough to make a review and give my opinion on it. Now I know what you're thinking, a Harbor Freight cheap tools that won't last, but chances are you just started in woodworking and are looking for an affordable 12 inch miter saw like I was two years ago. We are going to cover three categories in this video, the features, the good, and the bad. And then I'll let you know if it's worth to spend your hard-earned money on this saw. This Hercules 12 inch miter saw retails for $379.99, but it does go on sale quite often, so I would keep an eye out for that. I was able to pick mine up for $300 in Black Friday two years ago back in 2019. Oh Powering the Hercules miter saw is a 120 volt high output 15 amp motor, capable of spinning the blade to 4100 RPM. A higher RPM generally means a stronger motor that has to work less when making cuts. This will result in a longer lasting motor and tool. Lighting up your cut line on the Hercules miter saw is very simple as it comes with a precision LED guide system. The LED light behind your blade casts a shadow on your workpiece so it's super easy to see where your blade's going to cut. When it comes to cutting capacity, the Hercules miter saw has decent cutting capacity numbers. For example, the crosscut capacity is 14 inches wide when the workpiece is 2 inches thick or less. The vertical cut capacity is 6 and 3 quarters by 2 and 7 and a half for molding. There are 10 positive stops on the adjustable stainless steel miter plate and an override system on the handle for fine adjustment. The max cutting angle to the left of the saw is 50 degrees with positive stops at 15, 22.5, 31.6, 45, and 0. The max cutting angle to the right of the saw is 60 degrees and the positive stops are exactly the same as the left except you add 60 to it. Now that we covered the features of the saw, let's talk about the good. The first and most obvious thing is going to be the price. $380 without any discounts is still a good price for a saw with these many features, but I would recommend that you wait for it to go on sale. My favorite feature would have to be the LED blade guide system. I know we briefly talked about it, but I feel like it's so good that we got to talk about it a bit more. The guide system gives me confidence to line out my cut piece and also I can guess the accuracy because I know it's going to cut right where the shadow is. If for some reason I want the LED guide system off, it's extremely easy to turn it off with this little button. Also, when you replace the blade, the LED light does not need to be recalibrated. It will just use the blade that's in the saw and cast a shadow on your workpiece. Speaking of blades, the Hercules comes with a really good blade right out of the box. It is a 60 tooth carbide tip saw blade. I actually used the blade for a year and a half with good results. I did get some tear out on most woods, but a serial clearance insert could help prevent that. I only ended up replacing the stock saw blade because I warped it somehow and it gave me a good excuse to buy a 100 tooth blade. Once you get the blade dialed in, it will give you precise and accurate cuts. I mostly use this to cut my material down to rough length, but occasionally I will rely on it for my finishing cuts. If you're curious on how accurate the miter cuts are, well to your surprise they're actually extremely accurate as you can see from the cut here. How reliable is the lock on the miter gauge? Well see for yourself, this thing is solid, even after 2 years of use, this thing won't budge. If you still think that Hercules Miter Saw is a cheap tool, then I'm here to tell you that you're wrong. In the last two years of ownership, I had zero issues with the reliability of this saw. No parts have broken or slowed down on me. I use this saw pretty much on every project I made on this channel, so it gets used quite often. But it's not all rainbows and sunshine, so let's talk about the bad. Let's start off with the thing I hate most about this saw, and that would be the dual horizontal steel rails. These things are massive. You really don't think about this when you're looking for a miter saw, especially if it's going to be your first miter saw that you purchase. I work out of a small one car garage and I had to make my miter saw station 9 inches wider to accommodate this saw. Let me show you what I mean. If I have the saw as close to the wall as possible, I cannot use the miter saw since I need more rooms for the rail to extend. I had to move the saw 9 inches forward to make the saw usable. Even after that, the handle still sticks out. To some people, it might not be a big deal to move the saw forward, but to me, in a small shop, 9 extra inches of floor space that I lost is a big deal. Just for reference, from the back of the rails to the front of the handle, it is 44 inches long. This is something I did not consider when I made this purchase, and I suggest you consider this as well. If you're looking for a miter saw to take on the job site, then this saw is not for you, because this saw is extremely heavy, almost as heavy as your mom. Another thing I do not like about the Hercules miter saw is the dust collection, or the lack of dust collection. 
Now I will say I only had a shot back hooked up to the Hercules miter saw, but not for very long because it wasn't very effective. The little bag that comes with the miter saw, I guess is standard for most miter saws, but it's also not very effective to say the least. I usually come around with my dust collector hose after I made my cuts to vacuum up the mess. Let's talk about the threaded clamp. I don't have much of an issue with the thread part, it's more removing it from the left and the right of the saw. It's just a real pain in the butt. So, should you spend your hard-earned money on the Hercules 12-inch dual bevel sliding compound miter saw? Well, the answer is not that simple. It just really depends where you're looking to get out of a miter saw. If I was considering buying this saw right now, I personally would not buy this saw knowing what I know now. I just cannot get over how much space this saw needs. If space is no issue for you, or you can work around it, then I definitely recommend you pick one of these up. If you did find this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you feel that I earned it. If you just started off on your woodworking journey, chances are you're looking for a dust collector as well. Check out this video where I review this $300 dust collector that has auto start and stop. Right here. Why well, didn't just click it. I'll wait.